Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, obviously the TV shows, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then there's a case I'll be talking about it. So, for this video, well, I'll say that Oh, yes, I realize there's no such thing as a perfect company because everybody makes mistakes because of human error. But, yes, when it comes to these old original animated movies from Walt Disney, yes, I would definitely agree that there's a certain touch of them. There's a certain magical feel towards them. A, they have a charm, like Alice in Wonderland, which, yes, I would agree. A lot of their early works from way back then are, are wonderful. They're fantastic in their own ways. And I would at times just go back and watch some of these original films like this one, for example. Alice in Wonderland was definitely one of my top favorite animated films that they made. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites, actually. I really did enjoy it. And I will continue to enjoy it, of course. Oh, yeah. Which makes you wonder just how the hell can they make such blunders? And that's what the focus of the video is going to be about, folks. And to be more specific, it's going to be Halloween related. And to be more specific, it has to be a Disney Channel original movie. And all these types of movies don't really get a good rep in this channel because, yes, a good, chunk to, a good chunk of them are really bad. Since there are so many, I'm not going to include every single one of them. Just five. Five are the most cringy. Halloween themed Disney original channel movies. Of course, there's plenty of these, but it's just like five for this. Because there's like so much to get through. Anyway, but yeah. What the, hey, hey, what the hell? Mr. Monkey, stop slacking around. Go get a job. Yeah, seriously, go get a job, will you? Come on, give me a break. Also, yes. To qualify for this list, yes, it has to be Disney, Disney original channel movie. It has to be Halloween theme, and it has to be bad enough, of course, to be. It has to be cringy, like really cringe. It'll be the acting, the writing, whatnot, and also it has to be something I've already reviewed. Also, also, it can be from any era of Disney, and it just has to be cringy enough. It's not going to be in any specific order, so there's a bit of a leg room here. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we, and just get this all with. What the hell? Mr. Monkey, it's you again? I don't mess up the clothes. You suppose I arranged them? Oh boy, I guess I'll get back to you in just a moment. But yeah, don't be sloppy about it. But yeah, like I was saying a moment ago, before you interrupted... Yeah, at number five, it's Halloween Town, the first one. Yes, I know it's supposed to be a scary, spooky movie about how these characters should stick together, but it's more cringe than anything. And yes, I would go as far as the special effects are pretty bad. And yes, even the CGI and whatnot is awful. Yes, I know it's a TV-made movie, but come on, it could have made more effort. And... Uh, I know before anyone says anything, I know this is funny coming from someone that likes to watch those low budget stuff with those creature features kind of stuff. But those were made back in the 60s and 70s. So it's kind of like, what's your excuse? Give me a break. Even some of these has better writing. Oh boy. And then and that's just flat out embarrassing right there. Oh, again? It's you? Well, you made a mess, didn't you? You're not even going to clean that up, aren't you? You're just lazy. What are you even doing there anyway? What? Weirdo. So at number four is Twitches, the first one. Yeah, these two sisters find out what they have, and of course they have to make the most out of it, and just learn about their past and whatnot. Okay, and that's something to do with Halloween. But the writing in this one is pretty awful. The acting doesn't quite help either, really. It just boils down to the fact that the execution isn't very good. 
And it's also very cliched when you think about it. Unfortunately, that is true here, folks. Oh, uh, no, I want to watch it again. All right, you're just deliberately not attempting to find work. And no, I'm not going to buy you any of these movies. Well, okay, you're just passing out again. You weirdo. You're a strange person. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, and number three, mom's got a date with a vampire. So there's, there's these two kids, the mother. Yeah, and who has a date with a vampire? It's okay. Pretty generic stuff. I haven't seen this kind of thing before. Yeah, it's pretty corny with his family. Family got to stick together no matter what. Yeah, it goes into that whole idea. Very predictable stuff. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, please, Mr. Monkey. I don't care how much you beg. I'm not going to buy you any of these m movies on DVD, okay? That's not going to happen. Making it number two is this movie here, folks. Where... Our main character, this young man, gets a movie, for, uh, and he has something to do with premiere night, I guess, of a special movie or whatever. So, therefore, there's going to be some crazy disaster going on, a big adventure. It's a pretty standard affair when it comes to these kind of, movie, kind of movies, and unfortunately, that's what this is. Very boring stuff. Okay, you you just don't get it. All right, I have something for you. Something very special. Hmm, you want to know what it is? Here you go. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's what you get. So, yeah, like we're saying, number one is under wraps. Technically, the remake version of it. That's, that alone is enough to make it a list. And, of course, it's not very good. We see the main character and his friends, they, they have to take out his mommy. So, of course, it's, it's not as easy as it seems, and there's nothing spooky, there's nothing really creative about any of these, especially this one as well, I guess, because it's just, again, very boring. I'm going to win these. I need to go there again, even though I've probably gone there far too often by this point. Ugh. Alright, whatever. That'll be it, folks. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.